pile of the scrapings is behind it, or the, the digging is behind it, two scoops wide, and to the left is a little scoop taken out. That was delivered to the Mecca instrument. Look at this. Uh, at the bottom, we now see a dark patch after scraping, and that dark patch we consider to be ice, and it changes its properties over uh, day by day. It goes kind of bluish, and then it goes whitish, and then it turns red. It's a pattern. You see a four by four pattern of tiny little holes in the ice. This is caused by a rasp on the back of the scoop pressing against the ground. Well, I'm very happy to announce that we've gotten an ice sample into the Tiga oven. When we first found this out yesterday, we were really pleased. There were champagne corks popping in the downlink room, and we just had a great time of it. It's something we've been waiting quite a while for. Uh, of course, we know the GRS on Mars Odyssey discovered this ice six years ago, but we've now finally touched it and tasted it. That's one thing that hasn't been done before. And I'd like to say, from my standpoint, it tastes very fine. I'm very <laughs> glad to be in this position. This is an animation of the lander. It shows the scoop on the robotic arm. It comes down over the Tiga instrument pours it onto a screen. We then have a vibrator that vibrates it. Here you can see a cutaway drawing. There's, uh, you can see the doors on the top. And there's a little thing we call a whirly gig that actually shakes the soil down into the oven. The oven then moves and gets uh, connected to the mating half of the oven. The way we detected that ice was in there was by uh, noticing the melting. When you uh, heat up material that has ice in it, once you get to the melting point of the ice, it takes a lot more heat in order to melt the ice before you can raise the temperature. And so that's what we saw. We actually saw the melting of the ice.